Hey, welcome to my tutorial on iMovie. So there's a way to record opening iMovie, you import the film clip that you want to work with. So this is a live band clip of my band doing a song called Don't Ask. One camera, and we want to make it a little more fancy. We want to make it look like there's more than one camera doing some not really panning or zooming, but jump zoom in and out. And we're going to add a little bit of lyrics if we want to do a lyric video, and we're going to add some cut edits. So, right now at the end, we're trimming it down. If you highlight that, look at the yellow frame, you can trim out that end point so you don't see where I actually flipped it up and hit the record button so that I could record this straight from YouTube to show this sample. Okay, so let's go through here and let's add some little cut edits. Let's just let's cut. So we'll go ahead and go back to the beginning and you'll highlight your strip and every few centimeters, just stop and cut, stop and cut with the little scissors icon down there. And this is typically what I do when I have camera imagery from one vantage point. I'll just go through the whole song and I'll add cuts just like this. If I'm lazy, I just do it every few centimeters, millimeters, whatever. And if I'm not lazy, I'll go through and actually cut it right on the beat. So here we have some cuts so that we can do some samples. Now this pinch to zoom icon in the upper corner, what you'll do, what I'll do anyway, every other cut, I will click on that pinch to zoom icon and I'll zoom in and out based on who is doing the most interesting action in the band at that moment. So right there, Andy is doing a count off and that's interesting. He's a showy drummer and that's fun. So I'll zoom in on him for that one cut. And then the next cut, I'll just take it out. No zoom, no zoom in, no zoom out. It'll just be the standard one. And then the next cut, I'll zoom in like right there. Freddie's doing something interesting. So let me zoom in on him. Next cut, I'll leave it right where it is. I won't do anything to it. And then the next cut, I'll zoom in on Jen and Scotty. The next cut, I'll leave it. I won't do anything to it. And then the next cut, zoom in on Jen or whatever. So that way, as you see it play, you'll see zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, and you'll see more of a difference in the camera angle. And you can zoom up and down if you zoom or pan. If you push it too far up, you'll see the that red line below, and you don't want to do that in the frame. There, I'll zoom in on Freddie for this cut. He's got great stage presence, so he's fun to zoom in. And there's Jack Lou's arm, lower left corner. Jack shot photography on this one. And this footage is actually done by Sal Baxter. We just scrolled back to the beginning really fast. Now let's go ahead and let's add some filter effects. So down at the bottom, you can select different like black and white, blockbuster, this one's kind of retro, this one's bright red, you've got a black and white that looks like an old time movie and some different camouflage and blue effects to make it look like retro 70s. So what I'll do is um, just to add some variety, I'll go through and I'll highlight every clip or every other clip and I'll attach certain filters to it. Sometimes if you use all the filters in one movie, it's it's too much, it's disjointed. I'll pick two or three that I like and I'll jump around because it's kind of fun to go from vintage to black and white to super vibrant and then just kind of hop around. It gives it a little bit of more visual appeal. So that's a trick I'll do right there and we'll go through here and we'll show a sample. We'll pick a different filter for each of these clips that we just set up and then I'll play it through so you can kind of get an idea of what the different looks do and that way you can see it flow in real time here and it's kind of fun kind of fun to go through and play around and in this tutorial we'll just hit the basics here I'll come back and do a separate tutorial getting into more intricacy so let's rewind it started at the beginning to black and white to regular to kind of a deep color, retro, kind of a ethereal, the red,
Mm -hmm. I like doing the um, like those old Bowery Boys haunted house movies. I like better because it shows like a graininess. Okay, so down at the bottom, I'm prepping text. So let's say you want to do a lyric video or just flash your lyrics up as a way to get people engaged in your words. Now the lyrics will last your entire film strip. So let's try a sample first on just a little clip. It will only last for that clip, so check it out. Boom, it's gone, which kind of is not enough. So let's do this. Let's cut my whole lyric line. We'll clip it. So that'll be my clip. Ask no more, stop, comma, stop your demands. And then we'll go back and we will select the text tool. And there are different text ones. I like this one the best because it's kind of funky and fun. Ask no more, comma, stop your demands. That way this piece of text will stay up for that entire vocal line because that's our only edit. Sometimes if I, I've got to do this separately. there. So it lasted that whole piece. Now, if I wanted to do zoom ins and zoom outs, what I'll do is I'll edit the whole thing first. I'll do an export. I'll import it again, and I'll go back and I'll do edit cuts just for lyrics as a separate exercise. If you look down below at the tools and all the bells and whistles, you can influence your volume. You can influence your speed. You can do slow motion, fast motion. Sometimes if the band's moving too slow and you have a separate audio dubbed, you can speed it up a little so they don't look so old and sad and decrepit <laughs> in the movie. Thank you, and we will do more tips and tricks in the next tutorial. Thanks, and have a great day.